This was fun. This one was fun. I feel like this one was more fun than all of them. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. This, as you can see from the title below, is a not gonna lie type of video, okay? We're gonna get right into it because my back is killing me. This is the third video I done recorded today. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm really pushing through. So y'all can't even say I don't love y'all, okay? Let's start it. This is confessions. Now, this was supposed to be, y'all supposed to ask me stuff, but y'all started telling me y'all confessions. So I'm gonna just roll with it. It's a little bit, it's a mix. It's mine and yours, okay? So somebody asked me, do you ever go to Dre for advice or talk to him as a friend? Or do you keep y'all relationship as just co-parenting? So yeah, I do. But I feel like Dre is just not like that good of a listener. So it's certain stuff that I don't go to him about. And I, I would just like hit up my best friend for her because he not that good of a listener. He might be a good listener for maybe the next, but for me, he just not that one. But yeah, I talk to him as a friend sometimes. I always told him like, a matter of fact, I just told him like a few weeks ago, um, we should have been besties. Like I, I told him, I wish we never would have got together and we would have been besties because, oh, I text him something, y'all. It was just like one of those moments I text him something and it was kind of like the insider that I didn't think that he was going to get, but he got it. And I was like, this is my best friend. This should have been my best friend right here. Like the next time I find a dude like that, I'm not, I'm going to keep it as a friend because that's what I should have did with him. Like I was like, ooh, he funny. He like me. Da -da 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 let's do it you know no i should have just kept it as friends Ooh. so somebody said i've been waiting for this why are we not getting a dre face reveal somebody said i had a crush on you when we met who see y'all stop sending this stuff anonymous hit the dm hit the dm if you had a and when do we meet because i don't be in the street so when we met I mean, I be doing little things, but I don't be really entertaining dudes. Like, you know, I try to avoid y'all. Um, you know, when when dudes come around, I, I tend to clutch my, my keys like they brass knuckles. So that's how I know I ain't met no dude. Somebody, I hate Marvel movies. <sighs> well, okay, why? First of all, but okay, that's your opinion. Somebody said, I steal from work every time I go in and I'm not judging you. Cause at one point that was me, okay? <laughs> what was your worst day ever? Um, When I just got in a car accident and then 20, less than 24 hours later, I had food poisoning literally last week. What was the worst trouble you got into as a kid? Ooh, that's a toughie, hold on. I can't think right now, the worst? Ooh. <laughs> It had to be, look, I, this probably not the worst, but it had to have been when I was like, what grade was I in? I don't even remember what grade I was in. Okay, but I, I went into my aunt's bathroom, put on all the makeup, y'all. I'm telling you, I think I talked this on a membership, not the channel. I, I was not seeing the makeup. I guess it was the lighting in the bathroom. So I kept putting on more powder and more powder and more powder. So I went to the bus stop because I just had got my cycle and I thought I was grown. I got mine at nine. I thought I was grown. So I went and I was like, you know, I'm a woman now. Might as well put this makeup on. I go to the bus stop. I'm like, oh, I'm cute. I was, I was looking for my best friend, but she wasn't at the bus stop. So whatever, I'm at the bus stop by myself. And it was like, um, you stand in front of your house, but I'm standing in front of somebody else's house because I didn't want to stand directly in front of my house because I didn't want the neighbors to see something. But yeah, so I guess one of the neighbors still ended up telling my aunt, I don't know how she found out. Maybe she had a little good tingly feeling. She rolled up on me at the bus stop and my face was looking whiter than a ghost literally because of all the makeup i had on <laughs> she like get your ass in the car <laughs> she yelled at me the whole way home whoop my ass make me wash my face and still took me to school i'm all frazzled up crying shook up i'm like i'm a woman now i should be able to wear makeup to school no <laughs> i will never forget that i will never forget that I cheated with my best friend who also had a girl because my ex was cheating. Now me and my best friend are together. I f okay, listen, I'm not condoning like, I mean, okay, listen, people get that get back however they get it. But just remember, you lose them how you get them. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I ate a dude's groceries before and it wasn't that bad. I would do it again. He must have just hopped out the shower because 
listen, just know and be cautious. Every dude don't wipe correctly. Okay. So just make sure there ain't no crumbs back there. That's why I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing that. I don't get it. But you can you can have my groceries, but I'm not, you know, a dude, absolutely not. And, and, and was it shaved? I got so many questions. Because, you know, dudes be like, they don't even want to wipe between the crack because they think that's, you know, gay. But, so was it hairy? I, I, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. If you ever ate a dude groceries, let me know. Why don't you show your daughter? I'm sure your YouTube will take off if the two of you make videos together. So I'm not trying to exploit my daughter just for YouTube fame. That's the difference. And if I ever decide to start making videos with my daughter, it will be both of our decision. And I best believe I would have a long talk with her about everything. And best believe, again, that our content will not be fake like some of these other family channels, okay? I'm not going to tell her, no, say that again. No, do it like this. No, okay, come on. Cut. Come on now. Do it like this. Like, them kids really be miserable. You can't see that on some of them kids' face. They do not like doing that. They parents making them do that. Me and my daughter will upload, if I ever decide to, for the fun of it. I honestly, y'all... I cannot tell you how many people say me and my daughter need a show. And it'd be the people that I would never think say. Like when my aunt starts telling me me and my daughter need a show and she don't even like, I don't want to say believe in stuff like that, but she don't say stuff like that, you know, but that's how hilarious me and my daughter are together. But yeah, I'm not just going to like put my camera in her face for YouTube fame. So that's why. And plus, I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't feel like I have to explain why I don't show my daughter. It's, do I do you feel like I have to explain that to you and honestly it's no offense either I'm not even trying to offend whoever asked that question but I feel like I sugarcoat and baby the shit I say and that's not even how I really am like I just do that because I know the internet is so sensitive but listen if y'all was to hear half of me and my best friend conversations I'm not even no sugarcoating ass bitch but the internet just be like mm, coddle me baby me because people can dish it but they can't take it not this not to the person who asked that question but I'm just saying in general I'm not I don't sh like I'm a Sagittarius where the Sagittarius at y'all know how we are so yeah I don't know how to tell my man who I also have a baby with that I'm trying to get dome from a girl never had it before listen I'm with you I never had it before, but I feel like females do, would do it better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was going to say something else. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. One of my homegirls invited me over, and we were having fun, smoking, drinking, watching TV. I fell asleep and woke up to her boyfriend there. Wasn't there when I first got there, kissing up on her. It was very awkward because we never talked about anything like that before. So me being me, I dipped out. It say one of two, but where's the rest of it? This There's no more. But yeah, okay, that's a weird situation for your best friend to put you in. Oh, your homegirl to put you in. Mm -mm. See, this is why I don't trust females because they will put you in a weird ass situation like that. I can only pee outside. You must, are you a dude? Because I feel like my ex is like that. Listen, <laughs> my ex used to literally get up. Like when we would, when we like lived um, somewhere else, like in a college town or on the north side or something like that. And we would come back to um, our side of town to visit. So his mom could see the baby or my aunt could see the baby. And we would stay over at his mom's house. He would literally get up, go outside instead of to the toilet and pee. Why don't you want to go to the toilet, sir? <laughs> Why don't you want to go to the restroom? Like, nobody's in the restroom. It's two restrooms. Why you won't choose to pee outside in the grass? I always thought that was a little weird. Can you bring Dre to the channel so y'all can react to old story times about him? No. No. The only time y'all would get a Dre reveal is if I get a TV show. That's it. That's how y'all will see him. Yeah. Please bring back the classic 2021 hairstyle you had in your older videos what the side this one the side peasy is not it's not it's not side parting today but i'm gonna get it right because you know i haven't done side parts and flexi rides in such a long time so i gotta remember how my technique and what products i use because i really don't remember but my leave out is fried 
so i had to bring this back that's the only reason why i bought this back because i need to flex around my hair and stop putting heat on it because my leave out like stop right here right here and the rest of my hair is literally down here no cap it's, it's, it's long but my leave out is fried i look dumb if i was to try to wear my natural hair i look dumb so yeah but i bought it back <laughs> I don't think I'm pretty enough for a real relationship. I'm always the side piece. Okay. So you got to stop thinking like that. You First of all, you got to get out of that mentality. And nobody can make you love yourself, for one. Because I can sit up here not even knowing who you are or whatever, even if I did put a face to this. I could tell you you're beautiful till I'm blue in the face. But if you don't believe it, you, you what I say not going to matter. You're not going to believe it. You know what I'm saying? So first you need to figure out how to love yourself. Because if you did, you wouldn't have never said that. So you need to learn yourself, love yourself, and get out of that mentality. Because in everybody can feed your ego all day, tell you beautiful, you deserve this, you deserve that, but you the one that's got to believe it, okay? So don't ever say that again. Let's start with that. And also, how about you start with some daily affirmations? How about you look in the mirror? Listen, I tell my daughter every day to tell herself three times in a row, I'm beautiful and I love myself to the point where she made up her own. She she made up her own. Hers go, I'm beautiful. I love myself. I love my eyes. I love my hair. I love my nose. I love my skin tone. She made that up. I didn't tell her. To, I told her to say, I'm beautiful. I love myself. So let's start with those. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm beautiful. I love myself. Start there. But don't ever say that again. Ever. Okay. I slept with my step... I slept with my stepbrother, but years later, his baby mama knew. But she wanted to do the nasty with me, and we did it in a drive-in. He passed away, and she still tries. They have a kid, my nephew. That's... But I have no feelings behind it. I'm, I'm in a happy relationship. No, I'm in a relationship and I'm happy. Your stepbrother? Listen. No. Some people be like, oh, that's her stepbrother. The ones that try to justify it. But I don't care which way it's stepping, it got brother. Just no. Bye. Please read my story time before October is gone. I'm going to still do the um the spooky ones. Like everybody that emailed me, I'm going to still read y'all. Okay? Just give me some time. I'm trying to get back to myself. My back is hurting right now. That's why I'm going fast through these. All right? I snuck a boy in and I fell asleep and we got caught. Listen, I was never that brave. Actually, I did sneak Drew in one time and... Oh, that's a story. Is that a story time? No, I'm just giving it to y'all right now. Listen, I snuck Drew in one time. Not even one time, a few times. But my aunt wasn't there. So, yeah, I did the camera thing. Y'all already know if you watch my story times how I got to cut off the cameras, turn up the TV real loud, and, and make a whole lot of noise. Close my grandma's door because our rooms was right across from each other. So, if anybody walked to my room, she would see. So, I had to go close the door and distract her right quick. And I told Drew to go in my room. So, yeah, we in my room. He laying in my bed. Listen, I even got pictures of this. And we talking and doing this and doing that and just hugging and stuff, whatever. We weren't doing that. We weren't doing that and nasty or nothing. This was, okay, so if y'all seen that story time about how a broke boy stole from me and y'all was like, I know it's not Drew because he ain't had no car. Drew had a car for a little while. It wasn't his car, but he was driving a certain car for a little while. So yeah, he came over and he parked around the corner. So it was like getting close to my aunt coming home. And he was like, let me just stay in the closet. I was like, no, you need to leave. He was like, I'm going to stay under the bed. No, you need to leave. Like, he would not leave. And the time was getting closer and closer for my aunt to get home. And I was getting scared because he played too much. And he really would have stayed. So, I was like, my aunt checks. Listen, I can't even have my door closed for real. Okay? Because at one point, my aunt took my whole door off the hinges. And I ain't have no door at all. So, yeah. He was playing too much. I'm like, my aunt checked my closet. She took, she checked under my bed. So where are you going to hide? You need to leave. He was like, no, I'm going to be okay. She not going to check. Like, look, you got a lot of stuff in your closet. Your closet is junky. Like, da, 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 da. And I'm like, you need to leave. And he was like, no, just let me stay. Let me spend a night. Da, 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 da. She not even going to notice. I'll be quiet. Da, da, da. It was to the point where I was like, get the fuck out. And he thought I was crazy because I told him at least 30 times you need to leave. I was scared. It was like 20 minutes till my aunt needed to be home. Who knows if she got off 20 minutes early or 50 minutes early and beat traffic, you know? Like, he was really pushing it. He played too much. So, yeah, I did. I felt like I was going to get caught that time. But listen, I ain't never do that again. I ain't never do that again. <laughs> it was... He... Whoo, 
the aftermath of that he was like he was trying to mind f me um manipulate me after that he was mad and he was like trying to make me feel bad for him like i don't ever get to see you and i just want to spend the night da -da 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 -da. boy i don't care about none of that get out we can talk on the phone okay so this is from a female me and my dad's girlfriend did it one night and ever since then we've done it almost every day but that's karma for how he did all of his baby mamas including my mom you effing your stepmama <laughs> y'all wow are y'all being for real right now are y'all really for real y'all be doing this wild shit effing your step siblings and your stepmama and stuff like that what Listen, let me tell you something. Karma was always going to get your daddy. He ain't need that help. He ain't need that help. It's not a confession. I just want to say I enjoy watching your YouTube videos. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much. We need a Dre reveal. You open to new friendships. I've been in Houston for a year and still ain't made no friends yet. I'm definitely a fan. LOL, not on no weird stuff. Listen, I was just talking about that. It's crazy. I was just telling somebody. I'm real hesitant when it comes to meeting new people and making new friends. Like, I really am. I really am. Like, I feel like we at least got to talk for a few months on the phone. And I'm with that with dudes, too. Like, we need to at least talk for a little while. We need to talk for a little while. So I can get to know your personality and you. Because, yeah, I know people can keep up a facade. But if we talking for, like, a few months or at least weeks... If it's a facade, I'm going to feel like you're going to slip up, at least in some kind of way, to, to let me know that, you know, you being fake or something. Not you necessarily, but in general, you know? I don't like just like, hey, girl, you want to meet up? Yeah, girl, let's meet up. Like, no, I don't know nothing about you. What we going to talk about? How I know we got stuff in common? How I know we going to click? You know what I'm saying? That's why we need to at least, like, text or something for a little bit, you know? Yeah. My baby dad had me effed up, so I went to the bathroom and gave my groceries a nice scrub then i squeezed it on that mf -er. i was satisfied watching him brush his teeth with my groceries with my a-hole i mean because that's what they said you nasty <laughs> you nasty he could have had he could have gotten sick okay listen i know he had you messed up but what happened to him when females used to bleach clothes and and, and 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 crease the shoes up? Okay, why you ain't gonna put on a pair of his shoes and squat in it or or hit the Michael Jackson? Hee <laughs> hee. Why you ain't hee <laughs> hee in his shoes? That's nasty. Look, I don't play with bodily fluids, and I actually got a story time about somebody like spitting and, and food and stuff. I don't play with bodily fluids. I don't do that. You the best YouTuber to hit the scene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your favorite, what's your favorite TV show right now? I don't watch TV. Cable. I don't really watch TV. Um, I, I like American Horror Story. I just was watching American Horror Story the other day. I don't know what direction they trying to go in with this new season, but I'm, I'm going to keep watching, I guess. But listen, okay, I actually do because listen, what gets me to sleep at night is the Parkers or the Girlfriends. Not the girlfriends. <laughs> Par the Parkers or girlfriends. I don't care how many times I've seen all six seasons of girlfriends at least 50 times. All five seasons of the Parkers at least 75 times. I don't care. I could watch that for the rest of my life. It's, it's amazing background noise. And I be saying it with them. I be saying the lines with them. Shit, I be practicing. Because listen, I'm going to audition one day. Okay? They be helping me act. Okay? I be running them lines back with them. Trying to perfect my little technique. Cause I know that shit word for word by now. What's the most annoying thing to you? The most annoying thing to me, when people lie on my name, that's very annoying. I don't play like that. Um, I guess that's more of a pet peeve, huh? The most annoying thing to me. Complainers. I don't know. I can't think of nothing right now. But that's the first two things that came to my, my head. Who's your favorite Kardashian slash Jenner um, sister if you have one? I literally don't have one. I don't like them people. I don't. What's your type in a guy? Um, I don't tell my type in a guy because people will literally pretend to be everything you want and pull the wool over your eyes. No. What's your favorite Starbucks drink? Um, I don't think I have a favorite Starbucks drink. 
Oh, you know what? I just remembered that. A Starbucks gift card. And they told me to try to drink. It was Sexy Alley Cat on YouTube. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say real names. But yeah, girl, I got to try that drink. This really made me remember. But I guess the, the drink that I get a lot from Starbucks, it's not necessarily my favorite. It's just like when I find something I like, I, I try to stick to it. Because usually when I try new things, I'd be disappointed. So I get a Java chip Frappuccino um, with caramel drizzle, caramel drizzle, extra Java chip, and caramel flavor. Yeah. And then I get two shots of espresso on the side because I feel like when I tell them to put espresso in my Frappuccino, they don't. So I get it on the side so I can pour it in myself. What's the conspiracy theory you believe in? All of them. I believe in all of them. Mandela effect aliens reptilians uh everything area 51 everything about area 51 uh, everything i believe in everything who is someone you look up to and why i look up to both of my aunts so easy that was very easy me and my ex of three and a half years broke up because i found out he was effing his best friend then i think her ex started dating the best friend he was cheating on her with Oh, now they broke up and I'm still effing him. The same way you get him is how you lose him. So I just said that. I just said that. And that's true. And that's true. But be careful though, because when people tend to take karma in their own hands, karma tend to spin the block on them again. So just be careful because if you get into another relationship and this type of situation happened with some, you know, karma be spinning the block like that. So just, I don't know. Have you dated anyone since Dre? Um, I attempted to, <laughs> I attempted to go, not, not the story time, not the stalker neighbor, but I attempted to talk to somebody, but dated somebody, no. And honestly, I don't think I would ever date nobody like I dated Dre. And that's, that's a real open-ended statement that I don't feel like I'm explaining. <laughs> My bad. Not a confession, but will you start weekly uploads on the membership again? I know some people are closing down their membership. I got a video coming for y'all. So they said, this summer I was sneaky linking with my coworker. He was dating the boss's daughter, but both of them were off this summer. It was fun while it lasted. I actually liked the dad too, but if he tried me, I'd fold. My boyfriend is currently locked up. Before he was locked up, we was barely communicating and the relationship was pretty much done. Now he expects me to be there for him. Despite the fact that we were pretty much over. So now my confession is I'm currently pregnant by someone else and I don't know how to tell him. Girl, y'all was over. Okay, you don't have to explain nothing to him. I don't feel like you owe him anything. So stop stressing yourself. You, if you've been stressing yourself, stop it. Because you pregnant by somebody else, you don't need to be stressing because you're pregnant. You need to enjoy your pregnancy. And if that man doing right by you, be happy. Don't stress over nothing. That's not your problem. I F my best friend man when they called it quits. And now they're back together and I feel guilty because I thought it was really over. No. No. Even if you thought it was really over, there's still a quote in the book of girl code. Thou shall not fuck thou's best friend's man. Ex, current, past, I don't care. No. What don't you like about doing YouTube? Um, the stuff that people say in the comments, like a lot of people really be having the audacity and I ignore it, but it just shows me that like, if I was to clap back, because when I clap back, oh, you're, you're a public figure. You, sh you should know like this comes with the territory. So yeah, people basically expect to be able to talk shit to me, but can't handle it when I respond. Now I'm petty. Now what's wrong with you? I was just, I was just talking shit and being miserable and spreading hate. Why are you tripping? Like, you know, people really be having the audacity and they be feeling like entitled to certain type of information that I don't have to tell if I don't want to. Like I tell what I want to and people don't understand that. They be like, okay, but you need to tell that. People be telling me you need to do this and you need to do that. Like, It'd be the audacity for me. I don't change my bed sheets. Okay. What YouTube girlies don't you like? Why y'all do this? Why do y'all do this? Why? 
I don't think you should link with other YouTubers that's not genuine. I don't. I haven't. And I won't. So, yeah. My husband only makes me... Um, when he goes to the dirty south and we've been together 17 years. Well, at least you, um, cause uh, yeah. My sister's boyfriend kissed me once. Did you tell your sister? That's the only question I, did you tell your sister? Are you currently dating anyone? Nope. I slept with my ex. Listen, I slept with my best friend's ex and she still don't know to this day. Why do y'all do this? Please, why do y'all do this? And then, I mean, I know this is confessions, but come on. That's grimy. There's no other way to put it as grimy. Your best friend ex? Why are you even attracted to him? The fact that you attracted to anybody that I've ever been with and you call yourself my friend or my best friend, I, I don't trust you. I cannot trust you. Girl, one time I farted while he was hitting it from the back. I tried to play that off like it was a queef. Ma'am. <laughs> one thing about queefs, that that would have better been a, a, a fart that didn't stink. Because queefs don't smell like nothing. So, uh, <laughs> I secretly be cheating on my boyfriend with his brother and best friend because he's still cheating. It's crazy. Is that like, do that be a, some type of form of get back? Because you know, in the end, like, that's probably still going to be his partner and that's going to be his brother. And they're going to be talking about you if it ever come out. It's like a million people on the planet. You couldn't have found two other dudes that nobody knew of. I wouldn't get my get back with his brother and his best friend. That's just foul. Even though I might be in a relationship, I still want to experience X with other people. Then you don't need to be in a relationship. Get out of the relationship. And because you're not happy if you want to experience it with other people. That's what I should have been did because I had the same feelings when I was in my long time relationship. Okay, pause. I'm not going to say you're not happy because I can't speak for you. But I will say that you're not fully satisfied and maybe you should be single and date around. You can still date who you're in a relationship with, but just, you know, be single though. Especially if you're young because you don't want to end up resenting nobody and being just unsatisfied. Girl, that's not it. I love you and I want to meet you one day. Thank you. That's probably possible. A little meet and greet one day. My ex-best friend slept with my first love. Your ex-best friend slept with your first love. So I had ex with the boy she lost her virginity to and cut her off. I feel like you should have just cut her off. I feel like to get back better when you just go out like not like that, you know? I'm trying to keep it nice. I fell in love with my ex-best friend boy... I fell in love with my ex-best friend, ex-boyfriend, possible baby daddy, and we're thinking about getting engaged. Why are y'all like this? I'm not trying to be mean, but it's a million more. It's more than a million. It's a billion people on this planet. And y'all got to get y'all, like, y'all got to fall in love with your ex-best friend, ex, and sleep with your, your best friend, boyfriend. Or, like, what? It's too many people in this world. This is very random, but I'm going through a lot right now. I'm 20 and I don't have any friends and family. Um, and I'm kind of starting to get unaliving thoughts. Sometimes I wish I had a child because I know they love me unconditionally. I don't have anyone to talk to or vent to. Any advice? I love you. That is tough. So I don't know what kind of advice to give you because, I mean, you didn't elaborate on what you're going through. Um, but I would definitely say therapy, please, please. Cause those thoughts, I know those thoughts can be a lot. Please find somebody to talk to, please. Also, a child will not help your situation. I feel like people that aren't parents look at being a parent, especially a young parent and think that it's so easy. It's a lot of work and it's a 24 hour type of job. It don't end. 
So you have to be mentally prepared and stable for that. You don't want to raise a child and have those type of thoughts that can be real detrimental to you and the child. So I don't know. Don't think like that. They have unaliving hotlines so you can talk to somebody. That's free therapy. Please find one near you and call it. I snitched and got my ex-boyfriend suspended from his job. He had to pay a thousand dollar fine and he has no idea it was me. Now, why you do that? Because listen, if it's justified, <laughs> no, for real, listen, because there was a time where me and Dre would get into it so hard and he would leave me like at the house in a small college town when he would come back to Houston and go to his mom's house and stuff. And when I knew he was at his mom's house, I knew what was over there, like all the kind of stuff they had over there. I was thinking about calling 1-800, what is it called? Crime Stoppers. Or whatever. And tipping them off like, yeah, y'all need to go to so-and-so, da-da-da-da. And they got this, this, that, and the third over there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about snitching before. <laughs> y'all, I had snitch thoughts like at least five times <laughs> when we was together. And all of them wasn't snitching on him. Some of them was snitching on other people over there. But I never did it. I ain't had a boss. <clears throat> I ate a girl box and I realized I didn't really like it. No, I ate a girl box and I realized I don't really like girls like that. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do it to know what you don't like, so yeah. I got caught stealing cake at Dollar Tree when I was in a group home. A male staff member told me I shouldn't have stolen a cake knowing I'm plus size because that would have been the most embarrassing mugshot ever reported. I was embarrassed straight from stealing. Men be having the audacity. They really do. I'm about to cheat on my boyfriend, but he doesn't know. Do you? I hate my mom's side of the family. It be like that. It do. I have a boyfriend. He turns me on, but I watch corn. No, but when I watch corn, I watch Ebony Sesbians. And it gets me there every time. Is that normal? That's definitely normal. I feel like a lot of females do that. I feel like females more so watch Sesbians corn than regular corn because that kind of corn, if y'all get it, y'all get it. Females can really like relate to, they can, so they can visualize and put ourselves in that situation to get us there because we know how that feels. But for regular corn, it's all about pleasing the man and we don't know how the man feels unless you get off just by pleasing a man some some women get off that way because their man is being pleased so that pleases them but nine times out of ten i'm not one of them girls so i mean i've had a moment like that before but that's not what's gonna get me there every single time i gotta be in that kind of mood you know so yeah lord i hope my ads don't get damn restricted y'all keep it pg-13 next time I sometimes love my boyfriend, but he just irks me. I'm not cheating. There's no one else, but I'd be care if I want to be with him for real. Um, You don't. You don't. If you even had to say that, you don't. So, yeah, let's just take it. Let's just start listening to ourselves. Listen to our emotions. If somebody irks you for no reason, it's something about that person you don't like. You need to reevaluate the relationship with them because you're not having them feelings for no reason. You are really pretty, and I would like to get to know you. Thank you. But since this is anonymous, I don't know who you are. My boyfriend just bought me my first car. I love him, but I do think of other men. LOL. I'm a, I'm a horrible person. Just because somebody is buying you things and like y'all in a relationship, you love them, da, da, da. Like we're human. We're going to find other people attractive. We're going to fantasize about other people. We're human. And if you're not 100% happy in that relationship, then... Get out the relationship and date around. Date around. Like, I'm not telling nobody to thought around. Date around. Figure out what you like, you know? <clears throat> One thing about it, when we're young, don't stay trapped in a relationship, okay? We be trying to be monogamous too early, and that's what I had to realize. And I'm just not realizing it, but I'm glad I didn't realize it later on in life, okay? <sighs> Listen. Does Dre still try you romantically? No, not really. Maybe, like, little things sometimes but no do you have a little man you see about a horse from time to time one thing about it i don't like little nothing when it come to men okay so lit especially height so no little little man <laughs> i'm moving out of state but i haven't told people yet i think i found your baby daddy on instagram a while back i'm not gonna tell first of all 
that's the thing hold on because this the one right here whoever sent this and whoever sent this is on the um the membership instagram that's, that's suspicious one. that's weird for two the name got dre in it i don't know how many times i gotta tell y'all that dre is not the real name are y'all okay <laughs> No, and the, and for three, the fact that you think that I would actually talk to somebody like that, I'm not going to put the Instagram name on here. That's not him, okay? That's not him. Like, I literally described Dre before, and he had he don't even have the key thing about Dre that I described. Fuck, Mary kill. So Dre drew Jody. You can't save Dre because he your baby daddy. <laughs> so you want me to unalive Dre? No. Okay. That's my babysitter. Um, Oh my God, Ugh. this is hard. Okay, kill Drew right off the bat. That's so easy. Uh, it's like with Dre and Jody, one is not better than the other. Like y'all would think Jody is better because like of what we had back then and stuff, but the situation, like they still like, you know, the same type of person. Like I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with either one of them, but for the sake of the game, and this is for the sake of the game. This don't mean nothing, okay? So fuck Jody and Mary Dre. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. I'm not trying to save him just because we have a daughter, but that's that's how I feel. Cause I wouldn't want to marry Jody. Like I feel like that's worse. Like I'm gonna have to deal with his baby mama. And y'all already know me and her situation. Well, we don't got no situation, but our like past history. Like she crazy as hell. My boyfriend cheated on me. So I smashed his baby mama and made her eat my my uh my groceries. Y'all, it's a grocery day. <laughs> it's really a grocery eating day today. Y'all hungry. Y'all are hungry. I started at the mall. Y'all know what's crazy. I actually got a story time about sharding at the mall. It's embarrassing. And I was younger, but it's still embarrassing. Y'all gonna be like, you a nasty bitch. When I tell y'all, like, the details of it. Because <laughs> why not just be like, oh, can we go back in the mall? Like, and, and I see if a store open because I got to use the restroom. Or can we start at a gas station? Like, why not just do that? Like, why do what I did? Like, ugh, it was terrible. I don't brush my teeth. Are y'all trolling? Y'all Y'all really being for real with this? Y'all gotta be trolling. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that was too quick. This was a good one. This was funny. This was entertaining. Okay, y'all. So that's it with a not gonna lie. That's it. This was fun. This one was fun. I feel like this one was more fun than all of them. Anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope y'all stay to the end. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and make sure you are subscribed. Y'all already know about it. I love y'all so, so much, and I'm gonna see y'all in my next one. Bye. As, as long as you getting a raise or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not popping cat for the manager for free. Like, that sound like tuition, but listen, y'all gotta start doing stuff for free, okay? <laughs> what makes you happy? What makes me happy? Seeing my daughter happy makes me so happy. Like, seeing her smile with her cute little, she got those like dimples right here. It's so cute. Seeing her smile makes me happy. I, t I literally just told her um when i when ooh, i literally just told her the other day that i lived to make her happy and i was so serious i said this already i need a back brace Lord. <laughs> no offense but yeah get it how you live <laughs> and to be honest they probably always tell you shit they probably skimping your check you know they they pay probably suck um you are not to blame i blame a company now how about that I didn't slick my edges over here. That's why I'm trying to have my hair covered, but it's not working. I know it's stepbrother. So some people, oh, see, this is, uh, listen, these little black things is getting on my nerves. Okay, literally. My back hurts.